Okay. Now we'll talk about the next use of ultrasonic sound. Okay. So what is the next use, children? You know, you might have heard about these submarines. What is submarine? Which moves under the the vehicle or the boat or the ship kind of which moves under water. Okay. You know, sometimes uh, during the wars. Or you know in the normal condition also the submarines can be, the enemy submarines can be hidden inside the water. Okay, so one has to find out that really if there is any submarine which is there inside the water hidden somewhere, how to find out, how to locate. Okay, sometimes you know the ship may, uh, may be drawn or met with an accident has to locate the position, how to find out where the ship is, broken ship. Sometimes the position of the icebergs has to be uh, located okay. or uh, you know if one has to measure the distance, the depth of the sea, how can be, how it can be done. So all these things which are told for to find out the position of the enemy submarine to locate the position of some you know broken ship parts or something like that, maybe to locate the position of the big icebergs in the sea or, or maybe to find out the depth of the sea, you know ultrasonic sound is used. What is used? Ultrasonic sound is used and this is okay when it is used to find out the depth of the sea. So, it can be known as when ultrasonic sound is used in the apparatus sonar okay, to find out the position of the all this which we discussed then it is known as sonar system. Okay. So, what it is sonar S O N A R what does it mean children sonar means what it is sound navigation and ranging ranging system ok. If I write here system so now system if I write here so now system then it will be sound navigation and ranging system. Okay. So, uh, how this uh, helps to find out uh, the depth of the sea to locate, how does it like you know locate the position of the icebergs, so we will just have a look on this. Now see here is the, now here we have go, here we have a ship. Okay. Now it has got two parts children, receiver and transmitter ok. It has got two part receiver and transmitter and here what all other parts are there, it is there ok. So what we are studying, we are studying sonar, what does it means? Sound navigation and ranging system why and where it is used with that we have discussed quite enough times you know. Now it has got what? It has got a transmitter and a receiver ok. This is transmitter ok and this is receiver. Now it is under water. Okay. So, here also na, how the boat is, how the ship is without water, so water has to be here also. Okay. Now, we have to measure this distance, okay. we have to measure this distance. Now, as the name suggests transmitter, as the name suggests transmitter and the receiver. Okay. So, transmitter from what the transmitter 
what, what will be the work of transmitter children from here what will be done the sound wa waves will be allowed to go inside the C ok the sound waves will be allowed which kind of sound waves ultrasonic sound waves what is the meaning of ultrasonic sound waves the waves whose frequency are more than 20,000 hertz can we hear such kind of sound no we cannot hear ok which kind of sound can we hear we can hear only the sound which ranges between 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz <coughs> when the sound is when the frequency is lesser than 20,000 20 hertz then it is known as infrasonic sound if the frequency is greater than 20,000 hertz then it is known as what ultrasonic sound in between that 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz that is an audible range ok now what we are talking about we are talking about sonar system what is the full form of sonar system sound navigation and ranging system what is the use of this system to find the position of the icebergs to locate the position of the submarines to find out the shipwrecks and the part of the ships which may be drawn or met with an accident and is present at the bottom of the sea and even to find the depth of any sea or any part ok I am talking of the sea or river or something. So, we can use ultrasonic sound waves and what is this sonar it is sound navigation and ranging system. So, what is this children this is a I do not think so we have to write is this a car no this is a what ship not ship ship ok. So, this is what this is a sonar S O N A R ok it has got one transmitter and one receiver. Now from the transmitter the sound waves will be allowed to go inside the water. Now we all know we have read reflection that when the sound gets struck ok when it will come in contact with some hard surface ok here it will get like it will penetrate over here hmm? and it will get stuck over here why because now there is nothing that is the bottom the floor ok. So, at the bottom of the sea it will this rays will go it will move till the bottom of the sea ok it will reach till here and then it will be reflected back it will be reflected back and will be catched by what oh receiver is drawn here and written here but it is ok now or else then it will come like this and it will go like this because the receiver is there ok this is water we will cover this with water ok. So, what transmitter is doing transmitter is allowing the waves to go inside here is the wave ok this is the wave the ultrasonic sound wave this is a wave coming down ok. But we know that even the sound waves get reflected like the light waves ok. So, as soon as it comes in the contact with some hard surface ok then it will be reflected back and it will be received by the receiver ok it will be received by the receiver. Now what is the fun in this children this is only the main thing now the uh, see this is also discussed I have taught you this that the speed of the sound varies you know it that means it is different where it is different in solids in liquids ok we know the speed of the uh, sound in the liquids ok we know the speed ok now what is to be measured this time has to be measured that in how much time does the wave like the time taken by the wave to reach over here and again to be to like na, to reach over here again that means we have to what we have to note like what has to be noted actually what has to be noted like what they note children they note the time taken by the waves ok now when the time is known ok the speed is known so the distance can be easily easily <laughs> not easily it can be calculated easily is not it. So, once again we will revise this ok. So, here is one ship 
ठीक है जी सोना सिस्टम इज फिट ओके इट इज प्रेजेंट हियर इट हैज गॉट वन ट्रांसमीटर एंड वन रिसीवर इज देयर ओके वॉट हैज टू बी डन बाई दी ट्रांसमीटर वॉट ट्रांसमीटर विल डू ट्रांसमीटर विल अलाउ दी अल्ट्रासोनिक साउंड वेव्स टू पेनिट्रेट इन टू दी वॉटर ओके दैट मीन्स द वेव्स आर कमिंग ओवर हियर एंड एज एंड वेन इट विल come in contact with the ground it will be reflected back which will be received by what it will be received by the receiver now we know the speed of the uh, what sound in the liquid now speed is known okay now time has to be noted time will be noted what time the time taken by the waves from suppose if i make it a b and c the time taken by the waves to reach from point a to b and again to c okay this point will be noted and if the time is known and if the speed is known then uh, what is left now distance depth means what depth is again what distance isn't it so it can be calculated we'll be solving numericals related to this after uh, finishing the chapter or maybe like when i'll be solving the ncrts ncrt questions okay so then it will become more clear so this is how the depth of the sea can be uh, you know can be uh, find out or uh, when the ships uh, met with the accident you know we have to find out where the ship parts are there maybe an iceberg is there so again even if the iceberg is here suppose if iceberg uh, is here na one big piece of ice is here okay and we have to locate the position so again what will be done waves will be passed and as it is here what will happen from here it will be reflected back and as it gets reflected back again the uh, you know the time will be taken out and the distance can be taken out and the position will be located so this is what this is sonar system sound navigation and ranging system which has got a transmitter and a receiver transmitter will transmit it will uh, it will uh, give okay it will give what it will pass the ultrasonic sound waves towards the below the ship which will be reflected back as soon as it get as soon as it comes in contact with the surface of the earth and then it will get reflected this reflected waves will be collected by the receiver and time will be noted and thus the depth will be calculated this is again a very very important application of ultrasonic sound okay so we have read few applications what was the first one to find out the faults in the metals then what was the second one what was the second one children to study the internal organs or maybe in the sonography what was the third one to uh, you know destroy the kidney stone and this is what sonar okay now we will talk about one more application it is you know ultrasonic sounds are also used in removing the dirt from the corners you know the uh, hard corners you know the meaning of hard corner that means you know when you made must be sweeping in your houses uh, there must be some you know corners when the broom cannot go it will difficult to uh, remove the dirt from that part so what has to be done that particular thing whatever is there kept there it has to be removed and then clean okay but when we talk about machines even the machine has got very you know different kinds of uh, turns uh, or uh, curves you know which cannot be removed from the machine it is there and it is there so how can it be uh, cleaned because the grease get deposited over there the dirt get deposited over there maybe certain other uh, no um, uh, particles may get deposited over there depending upon the kind of machines the use of the machine isn't it so how it can be used children so these kind of machines first of all the part where the clean the which require the cleanliness okay that part of the machine is dipped under the solution which kind of solution the one which can remove the dirt okay it is dipped under such kind of solutions and then the ultrasonic sound waves are passed 
as the ultrasonic sound waves are passed that liquid starts vibrating very fast when the liquid starts vibrating very fast the dirt or the grease or the particle the which is deposited there in the hard corners of the machines it starts vibrating very fast uh, fast okay and when it starts vibrating very fast the hold of this grease particles become loose and this dirt comes out okay what did i say children in the hard corners where the cleanliness is required it is deposit uh, you know de dipped under or some you know the the cleanly the the one which is the liquid which is used for the cleaning of machines okay the, these parts are dipped under this kind of solution now ultrasonic sound waves are passed and uh, you know these waves will create vibrations in the liquid also and when the liquid starts vibrating very fast due to what the dirt particle whatever is stuck over there at the corners will also come out uh, of that particular uh, you know, corner from that particular corner and then in this way this impurity uh, not impurities this uh, dust or the dirt or anything um, can be removed okay so this is uh, one more application which we are going to study to to clean hard corners of the machines okay so what we are discussing to clean hard corners of the machines so these hard corners of machines are filled by cleaning liquid okay it is filled by cleaning liquid and then the ultrasonic waves are passed waves are passed then what will happen children when these waves will be passed then what will happen this which will produce vibration in the liquids and the dirt comes out okay the hold of the dirt becomes it gets loosened and the dirt comes out i have written so dirty this one okay okay so what did i write over here this hard corners to clean hard corners of the machine these hard corners of machines are filled by cleaning liquid and then the ultrasonic waves are passed which will produce vibrations s in the liquid in the liquids nahi in the liquid and the dirt comes out okay so this was again one of the very very important use of the ultrasonic sound wave children so this again uh, okay so this is again a very important thing which the human beings are using okay the ultrasonic sound waves are used by humans in different different areas now as we have already discussed that there are certain animals which can produce ultrasonic sound which can hear ultrasonic sound so we'll talk about the bat because bat is the one for whom it is said that bat can see with his its ears bat sees with ears so how can we say that one is seeing with the ears 
So we'll just find out. I'll clean up this board and then we'll talk about this. So till now we have discussed the uh, applications of ultrasonic sound for human beings. Okay. Now we'll talk how the bat uses ultrasonic sound. So bat sees from its ears. Okay. So how can bat see from its ear? Actually, children, you know what happened? Now suppose this is a bat. Okay. This is a bat. Now what does the bat do? Now what does a bat do, children? Now bat will produce ultrasonic sound. Okay. So bat will produce which kind of sound? Ultrasonic sound. It will produce and main thing how does it produce see uh, when bat flies okay during flying bat screams okay it screams very badly and this screams is like it's so loud that it goes into the category of ultrasonic sound so while uh, flying bat screams due to which the ultrasonic sounds are produced and if you know if see Due to screaming, the sound is produced, the waves are produced, and if suppose some object is here, okay, some object is here, it will get struck. This this wave will again will get reflected back to the bat, and this the bat will understand the position of the particular object. What is happening, children? While flying, the bat screams. When the bat screams. Ultrasonic sound waves are produced, and okay, when this sound waves are produced, it will, you know, it will proceed further, okay. And if any object is there, uh, uh, in the present in the path of the bat, this these waves will return back, isn't it? As soon as the waves will come in contact with some obstacle, these waves. Which is passed by the bat will come back again, okay, towards the bat, and thus the bat will understand that yeah, some obstacle is there, and it will change the path, okay. This is the first case. Now again, the second thing, you know, bat catches the prey, so the bat catches. Suppose if the uh, some insect is there, okay, bat want to catch the locate the position. So even the bat uses the same thing over here also. Now suppose here is some insect. Okay. Now again, what will happen? Bat will scream, which will again produce ultrasonic sound waves will be produced, and this, as it is an obstacle from here, the sound will get reflected back. Okay, and the bat will be able to understand that. Some uh, obstacle is here. See, when the obstacle is here, the bat will change the path. But when some insect is here, uh, if it is a food of bat, obviously bat won't change the path. Rather, it will come and eat the insect. But you know, the most interesting part is that children that there are some insects even uh, which can produce um, ultrasonic sounds and. Can hear ultrasonic sound. Okay, so if the insect here over here is the one which can produce ultrasonic sound or which can hear ultrasonic sound, so that insect will run away from here, isn't it? But if the insect uh, cannot, okay, cannot produce ultrasonic sound or cannot uh, hear ultrasonic sound, will become the food of bat. Okay. So what we are discussing, children? We are discussing how bat uses ultrasonic sound for its protection, for its movement, and also uh, for taking the food. Okay. So what does it do? Bat screams due to the due to uh, what? What is produced? Ultrasonic sound waves are produced, and when it reaches some obstacle, 
it, these sound waves again get reflected back towards the bat and then bat can locate the position of the that obstacle and it changes the path but if insect is there then bat will definitely eat the insect by using the ultrasonic sound waves it will locate the position and it will be eaten by the bat. Now the third point which I discussed over here that even some insects that even some insect has the capacity to produce ultrasonic sound waves and to uh, hear ultrasonic sound. So, if that kind of insect is there then what will happen uh, the one who can produce and can uh, listen that will run away and but if the ordinary insect is there which cannot uh, produce ultrasonic sound which cannot hear ultrasonic sound so it will be eaten by bat ok. So, that is how we have to write over here bat sees from its ears. So, bat emits ultra sonic waves and here to the echo of its reflection ok and thus can understand the obstacle at night also at night time and can move without colliding ok. So, a little scientific way I have written ok. So, this is how bat uses ultrasonic sound waves to locate its uh, food and even to uh, find you know can find out the obstacles and can move at night time uh, without being colliding without being colliding means without being getting stuck to anything ok. And this is known as what children this is known as a echolocation what it is known as this is known as echolocation that means to find out the location by the help of the echo ok. Now you know one more very important point children that the sound waves get reflected ok all the sound waves get reflected especially I am talking about the as, uh, ultrasonic sound waves that these waves get reflected as the audible sound get reflected. But you know here the frequency is very high is not it it is uh, these ultrasonic sound waves have uh, be, uh, like, you know, large frequency at least more than 20,000 hertz is not it. So, you know when the frequency is high that is the reason that it can penetrate anywhere which the audible sound cannot penetrate ok. Even the infrasonic sound cannot penetrate in the metals it cannot penetrate inside the uh, sea you know to locate the positions. So, uh, why ultrasonic sound waves are used why not audible because as the ultrasonic sound waves have very high frequencies is not it and the frequency can be increased also over here. So, when the frequencies when the frequency is very high so it has got more energy is not it more energy is there and so it can penetrate with the greater energy and so that is the reason why ultrasonic sound waves are used and not infrasonic sound waves are used or not audible sound waves are used this type of question can come in the for the hots you know like why only ultrasonic sound waves are used for the location of maybe whatever we have studied. So, what is the thing children as ultrasonic sound waves you can define it like the, the sound waves whose frequency is more than 20,000 hertz is known as ultrasonic sound waves and as the frequency is very very high 
then what happens it has got more energy isn't it vibrations are very fast and so energy is also more so more energy is there and so it can penetrate with the greater speed and energy understood so that is the reason why the ultrasonic sounds are uh, sound sound is used okay so now we'll talk about some other topic so this was all about the uh, applications of the ultrasonic sound and also how the bat use the ultrasonic sound okay